Hey guys, Jim with the Rage here. Hope you're having a fantastic day, and welcome to a new series on the channel called Mad Millennial. Now, I did uh, some Reaper rant style stuff uh, a while ago, and it was basically a series where I would rant about stuff, but it was kind of infrequent. It didn't really um, do any. It, it didn't really go anywhere, uh, and I just kind of did it spur of the moment whenever I felt like it. This series, however, is going to be every Monday if there is something, in fact, to rant about, uh, something for the Mad Millennial to talk about every Monday, so uh, look forward to that. And I, I, I don't look forward to that. If, if I have nothing to report, that would be lovely. But um, yeah, so we, uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we have uh, an infamous headline by now, a Chicago torture video for charged with hate crime. Yeah, uh, you guys probably heard about this. If you haven't, we're gonna run through the article uh, and we'll discuss. So these four people have been charged with uh, assaulting a mentally handicapped white teenager. Right, they kidnapped him and stuff. Uh, the force has been charged in connection with the attack on a special needs team, which was streamed on Facebook. Uh, you know, the they face charges of residential burglary, uh, aggravated kidnapping, battery with a deadly weapon. Basically, this is just fucked up. And and why did they do it though? Why did they do it? Let's see what it is. Uh, video of the torture has stunned the country, not just because of the graphic abuse, but because of the comments made by some of these talents. That's kind of shocking. So no. That was weird. Uh. Fuck Donald Trump, one attacker shouted in the video, and fuck white people. Okay, that's rather hateful. Uh, let's see, we're, we're so grateful for all the prayers, blah, 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 the team's brother-in-law spoke. Okay, so then, um, Duffin said the department sought hate crime charges because the victims diminished mental capacity. The fact that the four suspects tied him up and the racial epithets, ep epithets, I'm sorry, not familiar with that word, heard on the video. The victim apparently is white, the suspects are African American. The suspects will appear in court Friday. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool. So, obviously, this is a heinous crime. This is terrible. These people should be buried under the most disgusting prison possible. Just just throw them in a, a fucking box, okay? Throw them in a box, lock them in the box, throw away the key. Just, just let them rot, okay? That's what should happen, right? That I'm not debating. These people are terrible human beings, right? And they should be punished to the full extent of the law. Now, this is saying, you know, uh, the, uh, that they're seeking hate crime charges uh, because of the victim's diminished mental capacity. My ass you're seeking on the, on the grounds of diminished mental capacity. That is a fucking lie. I'm sorry. And then, and then they go on to this next sentence. The victim apparently is white. The suspect is African American. That's why they're seeking hate crime charges. Because it was white people. Um, I'm sorry. It was a white person being assaulted by black people. Okay. And I don't care what the color, color of your skin is, if you assault someone, you should be punished fully, okay? End of discussion. But let's go on here. So, so why am I bringing this up? This is, you know, you've heard this everywhere. This is the same rhetoric spat over and over again. These people are terrible. Lock them up, lock them up, lock them up, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but here's the thing. Let's see here. What is this headline? Idaho teen football player walks free after sodomizing black disabled teammate with wire hanger. Hmm. What could this story be about? Gee, let, let's read this, shall we? Let's read this together. Uh, the white ringleader of a horrific sexual assault of a mentally disabled black teen will avoid jail time and escape classification as a sex offender after being guilty to a lesser charge. Okay, let's see what happened. The attack occurred on October 23rd of 2015, when Howard and Tanner Ward, along with a third juvenile student, pretended to offer the victim a hug, then held him down and sodomized him with a coat hanger. A coat hanger. They took a coat hanger and shoved it up his ass. Okay? That's what happened. They, held, they then held him down and... Yeah, it, it is ridiculous. A third attacker then kicked the coat hanger several times, forcing it farther into the victim's body and causing rectal injuries that required treatment at a hospital. Okay. Okay, uh, you know, th this part is more speculation because this wasn't recorded, this wasn't live stream like the other one, but it says the assault followed several months of race-related discrimination levied against the victim who was adopted by a, a Dietrich Idaho family. Uh, the 18-year-old victim was poorly called Kool-Aid, chicken ear, the, you know, nigger. I'm not going to say the N-word, I'm not going to spice it up. You know, the, he, was called, he was called nigger, that was, a, that was a racially charged comment towards him, and that's horrible. 
uh, you know, by his teammates, yada, yada. Uh, basically, and, and what does this all end in, though? What, what is the punishment for this? You're thinking, oh my god, this is terrible, right? This must, you know, warrant even more. Th th this must warrant such a heavy penalty against it, right? 300 hours of community service for his crime. Prosecutors recommend the rapist complete 300 hours of community service for his crime. Okay, okay, all right. Prosecutors! The guys who are supposed to be seeking the punishment said, you know what, no, it's fine, you know what, let, let him pick up some trash for 300 hours. That's, that's what he's gonna do. That, that's, that matches the crime, right? Are you out of your fucking mind? Are you completely insane? Is that how this works? Is that how this works? Okay, okay. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Right? Oh, oh, but wait, wait, wait. The victim still has a $10 million civil lawsuit pending against the district for its deliberate indifference towards the victim's safety. Well, thank God for that. At least the school's being, you know, gone, got after for this hor horrendous crime. Right. Right. Thank, thank God somebody's getting punished. Not the right person, but hey, at least somebody is going to get sued. Whoop de fucking do. What's that gonna do? What's it gonna do? It's gonna rip money from the school and then what? And, and and then what? The guy still walks free. He he keeps his innocence. He's never put on a sex offenders list. He, he's never no repercussions of this. Twenty years from now, no one will look back and say, "Oh, you know, uh, freaking uh, what, what was his name? John R. K. Howard. Yeah, pled guilty Friday to felony co count of injury to a child." Right, 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 right. That, that's, that's injury to a child. No, that is rape. That is sexual assault. Okay? He took a foreign object and forcibly inserted it into another human being. That is sexual assault. Anybody who watches freaking Law and Order SVU could tell you that. But here's the thing. Both of these crimes are horrendous. The problem is not that they're both horrendous. That's what I'm not mad about. I'm used to seeing horrendous, you know, uh, you know, mass shootings and this, that, and the other. We all are. We're used to it by now in America, right? Horrendous shit happens all the time in this country. So why is this one particularly bullshit? Well, let's see here. White guy assaults black guy. 300 hours speedy service. Black people assault white person. Bury them. Bury them. Full of st Push them to the fullest extent of the law. I'm sorry, you can't have it both ways, okay? That's not how this works. Justice doesn't care what color, what the color of your skin is, or it's supposed to not care, but in this country, I guess, hey, we don't care about justice. We don't care about being fair. We don't care about being equal. No, 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 no. It's maintain the status quo. If you're a minority, shut the fuck up. You don't matter anyway. And if you're white, you can do whatever you want, because you're white. This is the same thing, this is, no, this is not the same thing, but this is similar to what happened in the uh, Stanford, uh, Stanford dumpster rapist guy, right? Chick was drunk, he raped her, and then nothing happened. Literally nothing. He spent three months in jail. What did he fucking do? What did he fucking do? It did nothing to him. Nothing. Right? Nothing. But this is, this is ridiculous. This is the point I'm trying to get across to you guys. This isn't justice. This isn't equality. This is not fair. Okay? Now, I'm not advocating that these people are innocent. They're not. They're terrible people, and they should be buried. But so should this guy! This guy is a piece of shit. This guy should be sent to prison for sexual assault. That's how this should go, right? That's how it should go. And do you hear this on the mainstream media? Anywhere. You want, let, let's do a quick Google search. Let's see if we can find anything about this. Um, let's see. Fox News. They love to talk about controversial issues. Let's see. Fox News. Idaho teen ass sexual assault. Let's see if we can find anything recent about this. Uh, let's see. From Fox.com. Let's see here. Any, anything, any, anything, you know... Horrendous, right? Uh, this is Q13 Fox. This isn't even Fox News. This isn't even legitimate Fox News. This is a local station. There we go. Here's Fox News, proper Fox News. Let's see what they have to say on the subject. Let's see if they they, they say anything. And I'm not going after Fox News specifically. I'm just saying big media. Let's see a big media thing. 
Idaho town torn by alleged by alleged rape. Fear of refugees. What does this have to do with anything? Is this even the same thing? Oh no, this is a completely different story. Try again. Teens sue school for failing to prevent alleged locker. Oh, here we go. This might actually be it. Let's see. Let's see. Is this the one we want? Uh, are they finally talking about here? I don't know. Let's see. Let, let, we gotta wait for the page to load. We gotta wait for the page to load because you know the these these media guys. They they uh you know they they keep it together. Let's see. Teens sue school for failing to prevent alleged locker room rape. Alleged. Alleged. So they're not even saying, oh, this guy's guilty and punish him. No, 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 no. They're saying it's, uh, their headline says, alleged. Okay. Uh, rube rape and racist taunts. Okay. Black changer who prosecutors say was sexually assaulted by three white football players, yada, yada, pro school. The deliberate indifference and negligence on uh, school officials declined to comment. Three teens have been charged in the uh, October 23rd rape, which took place after one of the victims. Yeah, yeah. So this is the same story as we saw in the other place. Right. Okay. Uh, you know, let's see here. The Associated Press typically does not name people who say they are victims of sexual assault. Uh, Idaho law mandates that juveniles ages 14 to 18 accused of certain felony crimes on or near school campuses be charged as adults. That includes a sexual assault court records. Okay, so that means that, uh, you know, you got fucked. But here's the thing. Here's the thing here. This was posted May 26th of 2016. May 26th of last year. Anything recent? Anything, anything else, anything recent going back to linking these two just like I did. Let's see here. Uh, you know, white high score, May 26th, June 19th, April 25th. Let's see, let's see. Uh, sexual assault, 2017. Let's see 2017, see if we can find something. Uh, September, that's closer. September. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, uh, June 19th, June 19th. They're not talking about it. What are they talking about right now? They're talking about this. They're talking about the Chicago torture video. We're talking all about that. That's relevant. How is this not relevant? How is this not relevant? This is completely relevant. This is how white privilege works. This is how racism works. When you have two people, I'm, I'm sorry, two, two groups of people, two groups of people who commit similar crimes, not the exact same crime, mind you, but similar enough in nature that they could be classified under the same type of crime, which is assault, right? Which is assault. And let's see. We're talking about the black people. We're not talking about the white people. Interesting, huh? It's almost like there's a racial bias here. Huh? Huh, and, and none of the major news networks cover this. You know where I got this information? I heard of this last night as I was scrolling Facebook. You want to know how I heard of this? You guys want to know where I get my information? You guys really want to hear where I listen to my media? You want to know my media source? You want to know who I turn to when I want news? Bingo. These guys. The Young Turks. These guys brought this information forward. These guys who are not a big network, they're not a big area, all right, they're, they are not mainstream media, okay, CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, Fox News, every other major outlet, anything that you can turn on the, turn on cable and look at it as news, that's mainstream, these guys are not, these guys tell the fucking truth, show, they, 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 they show Hatred for both sides of the aisle. They hate the right. They hate the left. They don't care who you're with. If you did something wrong, they point it out. Okay? You know, it's a lot. It, it does have a liberal bias. Sure. But these guys are fair. They give fair coverage on shit. Look at this. Man walks free after sodomizing classmate. Right. That was posted yesterday. I saw that shit at like, I don't know, midnight? I was up scrolling Facebook, watching TV, whatever. I see this. I watch this video. And what do I think? The first thing I think is, wow, that's fucking unfair. You know, if you're going to bury these people, you bury him too. Right? You know, and, and if you're not going to do that, then stop the charade of uh, of fairness or, or equality in the eyes of the law, okay? Justice is blind. My ass! 
you know, oh, just just is blind. Take that blindfold off Lady Justice, rip the scale out of her hands, and just basically me make it mean nothing. That's that's what this does. It shows that that means nothing, nothing at all. You know, and it's to, th this story has me so pissed that I honestly just can't stop. I I I, I I'm just pissed. I, I I'm just pissed. But. I guess, you know, that's that's America, right? That That's America. We're supposed to be free and equal and this, that, and the other. Where are you getting this bullshit? Where are you getting this bullshit about equality or justice? It doesn't exist in this country. This country fucking sucks. Everything about this country sucks. Equality, racial issues, fucking socioeconomic status, education. Every other modern nation is better than us. Is better than us. Why? Why is that the case? Why, if we're so great, you know what we're great at? We're great at military conquest. We're great at interventionists. We're great at, you know, cracking down on people for not being patriotic. Why should they? What's so great about this fucking country, huh? You know, it's it's ridiculous. And this has me to the point where if I had the financial stability to go anywhere in the world. I would leave this country immediately. I'd go to Ireland. I'd go to Norway. I'd go to I'd go to one of these ultra socialist countries because they're good. They're better than us. Okay? Like Jesus Christ. I mean and, and the number one issue, the number one issue I have with this whole story with this comparison is that nobody else seems to give a shit. Where are people rioting in the streets about this? Why are we not burning down the Capitol? Why, why why do we just sit here and act like it's normal? I mean, my God, the freaking airport shooting in Florida came on the news the other day. My dad's like, hey, hey, do you hear about this? And I said, yeah, and? When I can shrug and say, eh, it's another shooting, who cares? That's a fucking problem! That's called desensitized to violence. That's, that means that shit has happened so much, you look at it and go, meh, getting on with my life. Oh, that's so sad. Two seconds later. Yeah, I'll have, a, I'll have a big record price. Oh, would you look at that? Uh, you know. Huh. This guy was attacked by his classmates. Moving on. Oh, these people attacked a, attacked a guy. Bury him. Moving on. Like, it's nothing! I mean, I, I, I feel like I'm in an insane asylum. And I'm, like, the only sane person? Like, I'm not supposed to be there? I, I, I feel like it, it's, it's almost like... Watching everyone around you, right, just casually not care that the the Jews are being taken away. I feel like this this I feel like I am in Germany circa 1940. Okay, there's Jews and black people getting rounded up, and nobody's saying anything. We're acting like it's normal. We're acting like it's okay. It's not okay. How hard is this to understand? That when you commit a crime that is similar enough in nature to another person's crime, the color of your skin should matter. But this is a perfect example of American hypocrisy and false justice. You want to bury black people for assaulting white people, but when it comes to white people, we've seen this with the cops all the time. The, the, if it's a white officer killing a minority, they always get away with it. Always. Every single time. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it, and you should be sick of it too. Why are you sitting there like it's not important? Talk about it. Okay? Talk about it. Disagree with it. Make your voice heard. Say something at least. I realize that we can't just build an army and take over the capital. That's not going to happen. Besides, we should be doing that anyway because violence is not the answer, supposedly. But, you know, that's the warmonger side of me. I want to just get shit done now rather than later. That's my, that's my French Revolution side coming out. Behead all the leaders, start over. That's my, <laughs> that's my idea. But, I'm sorry, but this is ridiculous. That anyone can sit there and act like this is normal, or act like this doesn't matter. Then this is the, this is the most perfect example of hypocrisy in this country you're ever going to get. This is the clearest example of white privilege and racial injustice in this country. I, I, I'm, I, I just, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I don't know. That was me ranting for 20 minutes. I, I just, I, I can't. I can't today. Hi. Anyway, that is it for this video. 
I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, then do the usual. Like, subscribe, check out my streams, and uh, comment what you think uh, is the proper course of action here, and what you think needs to be done about injustices like this. Or if you just want to leave with me. I mean, we can start We can start a GoFundMe. We can all just like move to Ireland or something. I hear they got good beer over there. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Reap the Rager, signing off.